So in 1906, we have a gentleman by the name of Reginald Fessenden, and he becomes the first one to successfully transmit the first audio radio broadcast in history, and he plays the very first record, and it's a record of a contralto singer, so very high-pitched singer, a man, but which can sing basically falsetto, and this contralto sings Handel's Largo from a piece of music called Xerxes. And then in 1909, we've got a 16-year-old named Ray Newby of Stockton in California, who begins to regularly play records while attending Harold College of Engineering and Wireless. And uh, that guy is regularly, is basically considered to be the first radio DJ. And in 1910, radio broadcasting starts to use live as well as pre-recorded sounds. In the 20s, 1920s, we've got juke joints, and these become popular places to drink and to dance to recorded music played through jukeboxes. As you know, the old-time jukeboxes, nowadays they're digital and used audio files, but back in that day, and actually until quite recently, they were using vinyl recordings. Mm -hmm. 